here at the closing night of Environmental Land. Jason from Granddaddy's on stage right now. It's been a great stay here in Hollywood, California. We had no uh, idea or expectations as far as what the reaction would be like. To come here and, and to have success, we feel like it's a great step in the, in the right direction. This is a really impressive project here at uh, Environmental Land because it sort of brings together all of the experiences that are really unique that Global Inheritance has developed for a bunch of different venues. What Eric does and what Global Inheritance and the team of people he brings together do is really take innovative applications and bring it to the place that you're most open to receiving information positively and that's when you're having fun. So maybe it's the first time you thought about polar bears and climate change in a way that's not guilt laden but inspiring. And I met Eric about eight or nine years ago on some small projects and I've worked with him for a bunch of years on X Games and he's brought great ideas and really interactive educational programs. Eric really brought the consumer facing side to things and he was able to get kids involved in recycling on site and that's tens of thousands of people uh, that come through the X Games on an annual basis and you're getting them to recycle. So we came together and brought the X Games environmentality brand and Global Inheritance and the Trash Recycling Store together in 2005 and then we did a cool initiative with them at the Super Bowl last year in Phoenix. One of the things they helped us do at Coachella, they actually innovated the 10 for 1 bottle exchange which is now becoming a best practice at music festivals internationally. The diversion rate, the amount of waste that we divert from the landfill is the highest at the events that we've had Eric and his team. I came out to Environmental Land honestly because it kind of rem reminds me of when I was a little kid and I grew up in San Francisco and they had a thing called like Exploratorium or something like that. And it was the coolest thing because you got to like play with science and interact and do all these things and since then I've never seen anything like it until Environmental Land. This is like a little dream for a grown-up because you get to play around with stuff but it also teaches you about the environment. I think that Eric's really intelligent in how he brings together the arts, the technology, and the accessibility to all generations. And so I think Environmental Land's the fun, hip way of seeing how this stuff could be in your house today.